I think the possibilities are pretty unlimited. It's most useful for instructional, collaborative, and social scenarios. Anything where you can say, hey, how do I do this? Help me wire up this light up card. Anything that's DIY. Anything where you say, let me show you. So we all use Skype, we love Skype, and Skype on HoloLens is a communication tool. Skype on HoloLens, we can actually take someone who's remote from you, bring them into your space, and let you experience that together in real time. Everybody has had something in their house that they've tried to repair and didn't quite know how to do. So Skype on HoloLens, the other person does not need to have a HoloLens. They could be on a tablet or a computer. And we both can add things to the world together. As soon as they answer, they can draw on surfaces and they can add images and move them around. And I also have those tools. For the light switch, when you try it and the light turns on, you know you succeeded. That's when Skype on HoloLens makes the most sense. Before diving in and building apps for HoloLens, one of the things to think about is that you're not building for a flat screen. You're building for your world. You're augmenting your world. You're mixing holograms into the world that already is. If somebody said, I want to start designing an app for HoloLens, grab something like Unity, start building anything in 3D. All you have to use is our APIs on top of that. The way that we take experiences that exist today and push them into a HoloLens where they can be mixed reality and a part of your real world is amazing. Building apps that leverage your world is a really great way to broaden your, your horizons. It's just a ton of fun to, to learn what is possible.